if you're going to add anything to your sculpture, you have to attach it using something called slip and score attachment. So if I wanted to add some kind of handle to mine, and first off, anything you want to add to yours still has to fit the right size. It can't be thicker than your pointer or thinner than your pinky. If it's thinner than your pinky, it won't blow up in the kiln, but it likes to break because it's not very strong. However, if it's thicker than your pointer, then we have some problems with the kiln. It's a problem of physics. To attach, you take your fork, you scratch and add water to the parts you're going to add things to. Scratching it is called scoring. The water is called slip. Slip is the word for watered down clay. I'm going to add a kind of a handle there. And when I attach them here, I have to blend it as well. The blending tool should be one that doesn't have too much texture to it. This one has a lot of texture, this one doesn't. So to blend, I take some, some clay from the first part and pull it up, and I take some clay from the second part and pull it down. Take clay from the first part, second part, and I mix them together, and that's called blending. If you slip and score and blend, it's going to be very strong. If you add something to the outside, and it's had a chance to dry out a little bit, then it just will not attach. You can also do some things like make design and decoration. So here's a piece of clay that I made very thin. I took it in my hand like this, and I tapped it until it got this thin, and I've cut out the shape of a heart. If I wanted to add that to the outside of mine, I would still have to slip and score. After this is sat out for a while, and dried out a little bit, and the talc has started to do its talky thing, if I don't slip and score, it's not going to stay attached, and the kiln it will fall off. This will probably stay, but if I really want it to stay, then I should blend. Blend is where you take clay from one object, you mix it with the other. All of those parts that look kind of sticky-uppy will still be sticky-uppy, but these, if I don't smooth them out a little bit, they're going to be sharp like glass when it's all done. If I don't like how it turned out, I can go in and bring back some of those shapes with the wire tool.